Sometimes a recipe isn't what it seems to be. Find out why as the Learning Channel explores cooking with the urban peasant next. Table just for you and me. No more shopping frantically. Come and show me how to cook. I can learn without a book. My eyes are on your every move. Jane, you always turn my appetite. The things you do turn out just right to my delight. I'm waiting for a rainy day to try out what I learned today. Pretend we're in Bali with the ducks and the frogs and the rice paddies and the whole bit. Easy. It's a lot easier than you think. Put it on a pan and we are going to cook. I'm going to let that pan get hot. And we're going to cook some very special fragrant rice. All right. Just do it first of all. I'm going to cut up this onion very thin and cut it up really thin. Turn it around and I get the other end to get hold of. And the thinner I can cut it, the better this will be. And I don't want great hunks of onion around it. I don't want them to be brown. This isn't liver and onions or Victoria Station style. This is just chopped up onion. They're fairly small. All right. And I'll chop this bit up too. And meanwhile, the pan is getting hot. This is the secret of fast cooking is to let other things happen while you are doing something else. And what I'm doing is chopping up onion. Turn that around, and there it goes, and we've chopped it up. Right, we want a little bit of pepper with it. We'll put the pepper in with the onion. Put it on so you can see, and we get some coconut milk. Now, we're not gonna cook. You can buy coconut milk in most stores. Um, we're not going to cook with oil this time. We're not going to put any oil in this pan. What we're going to do is take the cream off the top of the coconut milk. See how thick that is? All right. Well, that is basically... Well, it's got a lot of fat in it. We're going to use that to cook the onion. And while the onion's cooking, just give it a stir. All right. While the onion's cooking... Great thing about coconut milk is you can get it really hot because a lot of times it's cooked in a wok. I haven't got a wok, but you know, when they do heat woks up and get that terrific patina on it, that develops that sort of non-stick. We get it done for us with high tech, but uh, there you are. The, uh, it doesn't stick. Onion in there. Now we're gonna use ginger, um, not ginger, lemongrass. All right, now this is lemongrass. And this you find in a lot more stores these days. And if you can't get lemongrass like this, I'll show you what you do with it. So you cut it crosswise, it's quite hard. See, it's all got those little rings on it. Well, you cut that across and it virtually, it's very hard. And when you get it in your teeth, it sticks there. So what you learn to do when you eat this kind of food is to look for this in the rice and to take it out, just not put it in your mouth, but it tastes great. If you haven't got lemon grass, then get yourself a lemon and scrape off the lemon zest. But lemon zest, you don't put in until the end. Lemon grass, you put in in the very beginning. We want a little bit of ginger to go in there. This is perfumed and fragrant rice, all right? Same sort of thing as a lot of people do to give it that sort of special flavor. You can do this in a lot of ways with biryani rice in India. You can do this. We're going to put in some ginger to give it a flavor. And we stir it all around. All right. No. No. That's got that. Put in the rice. Two cups of rice. Dump it right into the hot mixture in there of onions and ginger and lemongrass. And then put in the rest of the can of coconut milk. Now, we got two cups of rice in there. Two cups of rice means we need four cups of liquid. So we just stir that around once to get it together. Now, the big thing is to put in turmeric. Turmeric is lovely. Haldi, it's called in India. It's, I love it. I don't know what 
it's called in Sumatra, but this is where the yellow comes from. It's orange now. Now I'm going to stir it and it starts to go orange. And as it cooks, it gets even more brilliantly yellow. See, it starts to stop being orange and it starts to turn yellow. But we've got one cup of liquid in there. So we'll put in one, we'll put in three more. And it doesn't matter what you use to measure as long as you always use the same measuring thing. Two and three. That is how you make fancy rice, and there's nothing to it. You've done the major thing now. Now, I'm going to put in one of these to give it a very gently spicy flavor because, see, rice, the whole purpose of rice is, is it's fairly bland. It's got suggestions of flavor, and you put all those spicy things to go with it. That's all we got to do. I'll be back in two minutes. Furniture to go, weekdays at 5 on TLC. New Ultra Palm Olive is so powerful, just a little bit cuts the toughest grease. Yeah, baked on grease, caked on grease, caramelized grease, elbow grease. Ooh, good one. Ultra tough, ultra soft, ultra palm olive. I'm Betty. This is Pat. Hi. We're the Reynolds Wrap Kitchen's home economists. To show the best way to wrap sandwiches, we put one in Reynolds Wrap, the other in a plastic sandwich bag. Pat's gonna field test them. How'd they hold up? Looks like Reynolds Wrap is the best wrap for your kids' sandwiches. One more reason, Reynolds has it all wrapped up. Oh, uh, most, uh, all over Bali, they use ducks a lot, because they got ducks, they got water, and the ducks, you know, paddle about in the water, in the streets, in lots of places. But we're going to use chicken, and it's just as easy. And first of all, I want to show you this rice. Now, look what's happening to that. See, it isn't properly cooked yet, but it's going to take another 10 or 12 minutes and just let it simmer. Now, in the meantime, let's do something nice. I'll warm up a fry pan at the back. I'll show you what I'm going to use that for in a minute. But first of all, I'm going to make this sort of bumbu, this, this lovely sauce that is very, very, very well known for cooking with chickens. And what we do is easy. If you, if you were in Bali and you were essentially Balinese, you would probably have a mortar and pestle and you would grind this stuff round and round. All right, we're going to do it in a little whizzer. So we've got an onion goes in there and we've got a tomato all right now there's the tomato we want some garlic okay some garlic let's put in three you want four all right four cloves of garlic all right now we want some ginger now if you've either got a piece of ginger like this or you've got some ginger in a drawer somewhere that you can put powdered ginger in. It will not taste the same with powdered ginger. Try and get some real ginger, but whatever you do, put it in there, okay? We want a nice little chili, little green one is a good idea. And as a matter of fact, we'll put in one green one and a couple of red ones, because we want this hot and spicy. Remember to go with a fairly bland rice. Now, the essential part, we want some palm sugar. If you haven't got palm sugar, look how sticky this is. If you haven't got palm sugar, then you better put in there some ordinary brown sugar or some molasses. Look at the texture of that. It's really unlike sugar. It's really raw palm sugar. And it's great stuff because it's very good. It somehow counteracts all the hot things that you get when you do, when you put hot peppers in your mouth. A little bit of sugar, very, very nice. Now, the important thing here is we put some dried shrimp in there, all right? Just a few handful of dried shrimp. Dried shrimp you can buy, oh, sorry, if you can't find dried shrimp, then this is called blanchan. And I want you to watch this stuff. This is shrimp paste, which is absolutely essential to just about every bit of cooking that happens in Indonesia. And we'll put it in a pan and heat it up. All right, just warm it up a little bit. Fry it a little bit. 
get it to sort of start to cook through. We don't want it to be too hot, we just want it to cook a little bit. Now, if you haven't got shrimp paste, then you can't use it, right? So what do you do instead? Well, what you do instead is to get the good old standby of anchovies. So if you put some anchovies in there now, be much the same, not quite the same. I'm just gonna whiz this together, all right? Until it goes smooth. Break down all the, the bits of tomato. That's good. Okay, now that's a sauce basically called a bamboo. And here is our blanchan, which is cooking down this sort of smelly, smelly powder. And we want that when it's warm through. A lot of people put this in foil, they wrap it in the oven and foil it and, you know, and cook it and treat it very, very carefully. It's very special stuff. Okay, and well, then we pour in this stuff. A bumbu. Now, all that is, you know what went in there. You know what went in there. It was, it was spices. It was ginger. It was a tomato. It was an onion. It was garlic. A little bit of dried shrimp. All right. Now, stir that around and start until it starts to get fragrant. You want it to heat through because the heat is just, you know, it's just accelerating the process of it. The flavor is coming together. And you want all these nice flavors of chilies and, <laughs> and ginger. Boy, boy. Whew, sometimes you get those hot, <coughs> those hot peppers and they just woof, right up like that. Okay, now the next thing to do is to get our chicken ready. Now chickens are easy to get ready. Rule is the smaller you cut them up, the quicker they cook. We're gonna cut these up fairly small just go through where the, the joint is. And if you've got a whole chicken, well, if you've got a whole chicken, the easiest way to deal with it is with a pair of scissors. And you can do that. If you want to cut the wings off, you can cut those off with a pair of scissors. A pair of sharp scissors is a wonderful thing. You want to cut the leg off, you want to spatchcock it, you want to flatten it out. It's always the same. So this is what we're going to do gonna get a baking sheet and take our bits of chicken and arrange them on the baking sheet. See, it doesn't matter whether it's wings or legs or thighs or a breast, whatever it is. We'll just, let's put another one on there. Okay, there's a leg. There's a nice looking leg. Let's cover this thing. And there's the breast. Let's just flatten the breast out. So that that goes on there. And then we cover the whole thing with this sauce, which is now bubbling away. All right, the bamboo sauce. Now this goes, see it's incorporated. We put that on the top. Put that over the top of it and make sure that each bit of chicken has got some sauce on it. And this is enough for a lot more chicken than I'm going to eat here. Just spread it over. Spread it all over so that it's gonna, and we'll go to the oven once or twice while it's cooking. It's gonna take about 15 minutes in a hot oven to, to cook. And we can eat it with the rice. I'll be back in two minutes. Okay, now we've got to pick Jimmy up from hockey and drop Life him. is hard. And drop Jimmy and Tommy at Bobby's birthday party. And then you have to make dinner. Easy recipe to the rescue with sauce, pasta, and bird's eye veggies. Just add to chicken. Easy recipe from bird's eye. The fresh look for vegetables. my life working on a medicine that might help my grandchildren. There are people that need it now. They can't wait. There are millions of people counting on us. There are patients out there that are sick now that we can have an impact yeah. on. I come to work thinking, you know, I want to improve the situation for people. Tomorrow might be the day. Medicines to the patient faster. We're going to get the answers. Laxo Welcome, a journey of discovery. TLC Daytime. We talk about everything from hair and makeup to fashion to inspirational stories. We get such energy from the audience. There are people like you. No, really. This is a very hard job. Dream living is all about bringing fantasy to life. The same questions, the same dreams. I am just, I am so excited. By the way, it's all improvised. To you, the personal touch. New hosts, a new daytime, beginning September 30th on TLC.
had enough of high credit card rates? You know, the average American pays about 17%. But you're not average. You deserve better. You pay all your bills on time. You deserve to pay less. Now that's more like it. A 7.9% MasterCard from a bank you know, Chase Manhattan. Call 1-800-639-2900 to apply for the card that's going to save you money. You can transfer your high interest balances and you don't pay an annual fee. So come on, call and apply for a Chase MasterCard with a fixed 7.9% rate until June 1997. Because credit like yours deserves an interest rate like ours. The 7.9% Chase MasterCard. Anything more is just too much. 1-800-639-2900. Right, now we did a sort of Balinese chicken. Well, now we're going to do a sort of Sumatran chicken. Same stuff, okay? Because this is how cooking gets around. Sailors get around and leave their recipes around from all over the place. We've got that bumbu cooking, that, that, that nice, fragrant, spicy sauce. And what we're going to do now is to shred, we're not going to shred, we're just going to cut it up thin, some chicken breast, because chicken breast cooks quickly. And we just wanted to show you how to do this. You make the same sauce. Yeah, it's pretty well the same all over the world. That There are just very few recipes, and what happens is that things get slightly changed from one country, one county to another. So all the biggest problem here is cutting this up because when we cut it up, it's going to cook very, very quickly because it's so small. That's what we're concerned with. We are figuring out how to cook things in a hurry when you get home from work. This is a bit much to do when you get home from work, but if you want to have a party on a Friday night and have a few people over, this is a jolly good thing to do. It's a really nice thing to do. Now, there's our chicken all cut up, okay? We'll put that over there. We've got this bumbu cooking here. Excuse me, just just a minute. Put that in there. Hello. Yeah, it's tonight. It's okay. No, it's tonight. Well, try not to be too late. Or we'll eat it all. Bye. Um, stir in the chicken. Some people never remember a thing you tell them. They uh, crank that up a little bit. And because the sauce is hot, and the chicken is small, it's going to cook very quickly and it's going to get itself all mixed in together. The trick is to mix it in. I've had this dish made out of pounded chicken and all pounded up in the mortar and it goes into little shreds and it's quite delightful. But this is a nice and quick way to do it and it's going to go with all that nice rice that we've got cooking in here now. Just stir that in a little bit and I'm going to put a lid on it. Now, if you can't find a lid, then you put another fry pan on the top of it. Just want to cover it up so that it keeps a little bit of extra heat in there. And we can turn that down. And we've got just about everything done here. i put a little wash off my hands, put a little salt on my board where all that chicken was, give it a little rub there. That will let me do anything else that I want to with it. Very instant sterilization trick, that one. So, there we go. Get rid of that bit of salt down there. Right, now, time to start to think about what else we're going to do. We're going to put nice things in there. We're going to put in some lime leaves. All right. These have nice flavor. If you haven't got lime leaves, then you go right back to square one. And I keep talking about the zester, and you get the zest off a lime. And you get one of these little tools that it's called a zester. Most stores sell them, most kitchen stores sell them. They're not expensive, but do not, whatever you do, just finish using it and then open the drawer and chuck it in because it will be useless in about five days. It's got very, very sharp little things on there. You have to be really careful where you keep it. As long as you look after it, it'll last you for a long time. So lime leaves or lime zest, okay? We want a little hot chili in there. 
See, we're getting the thing to go. To, we're getting the the whole block mixed together with the with the sauce, the chicken and the sauce, with a little hot chili. Okay, and we're going to put all of that in there. Now, I've got to get the lid off. Okay, now in goes that lot. See the chicken changing colour already. See, also look at the amount of steam that's collected in the top in that fry pan, which was the lid. I mean, you don't normally look at that when you look in a in a fry pan. You you don't usually see where in a lid. You don't see that that's what you're doing, but that's what putting a lid on. It's a different way of cooking altogether. So in goes that. See, and it's going dry. It's not like it was to start off with. It's going dry, and it's turning itself into a real dish. And it's going to be just great. It only takes about five or six minutes to cook because the chicken's cut up so small. All right, stir that in there. Get the fragrance coming out of the lime leaves. And then we have to get ready for it by chopping up some coriander, some cilantro. Get lots of it, lots and lots and lots of it. And get yourself a whole bunch of other things. Like, you're gonna wanna, you have somebody boiling some eggs. You can, these are great family things. You say, boil some eggs, will you, Johnny? Oh, yes, ma'am. And then, you know, you can get your spouse to do something if you are, um, you know, if you've got something for some of you, cook some peanuts, fry a few peanuts, chop up some peanuts, do all those things. I'm just going to cut this. Where's the knife? Here. And cut that across there so that it's reasonably small. And have another look. There it is. It's done. Look, it takes about six minutes. And there it is. And it smells fragrant and lovely and that is a dish unto itself now what we're going to do with this dish is put some nice cilantro on the top of it put that over in the sink all right and we'll just clean that out of the way and we're going to stir into it to finish it a little bit of peanut butter plain old peanut butter if you were in sumatra you would have something different You'd have your mortar and pestle and you'd grind the peanuts. But somebody has done this for you. Mr. Skippy has done that for you. And uh, you should be thankful to Mr. Skippy. Now melt in the peanut butter at the last minute. Let it all go around. Let it go through the sauce. You don't want to overcook it. And it will turn it into this nutty, spicy, peanutty, different thing to any sort of satay you've ever had. And it was easy. You know, that's how you do it. So, rice is ready. I'm ready. I'm going to start to put it together. Dead easy and indecently delicious. Peasant's Choice Cookbook with more of the best recipes from the urban peasant. Over 200 of James Barber's simply and downright sinfully wonderful dishes. Everything from six-pack stew to samosas, plus full-color photos, behind-the-scenes shots, cooking tips, and amusing anecdotes by James. Peasant's Choice. Just $16.95 plus $4 shipping and handling. To order, call 1-800-561-9966. Ask for Operator 6. Visiting this great old lighthouse always makes me think about guidance and direction in my own life. Jesus Christ taught that he is the light of the world. And we learned that he's not very far away from any of us if we're just willing to seek him. That's why I'd like to share something with you. This is the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. You can have a free copy of this sacred book by calling this toll-free number. Its teachings go hand in hand with the Bible and will help you to know and feel closer to Jesus Christ. The more we know about him, the easier it is to understand and live his teachings and then make better decisions and be happier. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints would like to send you a copy of the Book of Mormon as a gift, without cost or obligation, when you call this toll-free number. Reading the Book of Mormon will help you to find Him, know Him, and feel His presence in your life. So please call, because it too can light your way to Christ. Coming up. Get creative. Make fun, useful things for around the house. Debbie Stapley of Crafts & Company shows you how. Then, get into gardening naturally with Barbara and Elliot right here on TLC. Victims of foul play and unspeakable offense, tortured spirits reach from the grave to haunt the living. Do you believe? 
Castle Ghosts of England, Sunday night at 10 on TLC. There, chicken bamboo. Now this is great stuff. This smells absolutely fantastic. And it's got this lovely crusty sauce on the top of it. If you want to do it with a duck, then do it with a duck. I don't care, and the ducks won't care. But it's chicken bamboo, and it tastes wonderful, all right? We're going to eat it, and we're going to enjoy it. Let's put a bit of that sauce on there. Now, we've got the other chicken, the Sumatran chicken, all right? Same sauce, but we put peanut butter in it. This is a lovely, spicy, intense thing. And that, you put a few cilantro leaves on the top of it, and there you are. You eat it with fragrant rice. We made the fragrant rice to eat with all that stuff, the cucumbers and fried coconut and a bit of fried onions and fried peanuts and hard-boiled eggs. It's lovely, easy stuff. Peanut butter is not just for sandwiches. If you put in a little bit of sauce, mix it up with some onions, put a little anything with it, it's great, or chicken or fish or even in salad dressings or anything. It's great stuff, peanut butter. Next on TLC, would you like to express your creativity while making something useful for your home? Join Debbie Stapley of Crafts & Company. Then, get into gardening naturally. Furniture to go, weekdays at 5 on TLC.